Hi, I'm Janet Thompson Jackson and I'm so excited to be a part of Inspire today. Are you one of those people who feels like, I just don't have time to work out? I want to, I would, if I could, but I just don't have the time. Well, today I am going to show you some yoga moves and just some general movement that you can do while you're sitting in your chair. You can do this in a small space if you don't have access to a yoga studio or if you just don't feel comfortable going to a studio. Let's sit down and get started. I want to talk about something briefly that's really important. I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people who have to go into assisted living or need help as they get older, it's not necessarily because they have an illness that is taking them to that place. It's because they have problems getting out of a chair. They simply cannot get up and down without help. There's something that we can do as we age, starting at a young age, we can start this at any age, something that we can do to help avoid that. I want you to sit on the edge of your chair, and this is gonna be really important to engage that core. So I want you to imagine that string, pull that string back from your belly button to your back. So I've engaged my core, and I'm simply going to stand up, but not all the way, and sit back down. What I'm doing is I'm engaging my core, and I'm using these muscles that we use to get out of a chair. If you have to, help yourself a little bit at first by pushing yourself up like this. Again, you don't want to stand all the way up because you'll then you'll lose your, your core engagement. And then back down. See if you can work up to doing it without using your hands. If you don't do anything else, this is really one of the most important exercises because it really can uh, help you stay independent. So up and then back down. And before you go down, engage that core again, pull that string, and now back down. And up, you can do this every time you get up out of a chair. You can decide, I'm going to get up by engaging my core, stay just for a moment, and then go on your way. If you want to do these without a chair, you might graduate to the point where you feel very comfortable doing it without a chair, then an important thing is, to, as you do these, we call these squats, you wanna make sure that you're not, a lot of people do a squat and they do this. They're bending and you can see that my lower legs are moving. You really want that part of your body to stay stable and you want to, as though you're sitting in a chair. So what I'm doing is below my knee down, that's not moving. What I'm, what's moving is my bottom going back, going back and I'm sitting in that chair. So, and you can, as you gain um, core strength and gain muscles in your legs, you can go lower and lower, but do it at your own pace. I'm Janet Thompson Jackson, and I hope I've inspired you to replenish and restore.